I actually never heard of ashwagandha causing PSSD like symptoms. I, I think most people will think, you know, SSRIs, Accutane and Finasteride being the pharmaceuticals. Are, are these people who are taking very high doses of ashwagandha for long periods of time generally? If you are noticing a pattern in, in the reports, like what does it usually look like? Duration of usage, yes, that does impact the likelihood of them suffering from the blunting effect or anhedonia. Low baseline cortisol levels also appears to be a potential link there because we know that ashwagandha can significantly lower cortisol. And there are some case studies online suggesting that ashwagandha can lead to hypoadrenalism or hypocortisol release. So they're not actually secreting enough cortisol and that therefore can Funnily enough, there's a link between cortisol and the serotonin axis as well. There's like a, it can have an effect on that serotonin um, 5-HT1A receptor. And there was a study back in like a, quite a long time ago. It's a rat study, but it does shed light on the fact that there is a link between mechanism of action between ashwagandha and SSRIs, that ashwagandha can desensitize the 5-HT1A serotonin receptor with the reciprocal supersensitivity of the 5-HT2A serotonin receptor. And if you look at the literature of like PSSD theories, one of the leading theories is that it's a desensitization of that 5-HT1A serotonin receptor, which disinhibits serotonin release, leading to an excess amount of serotonin built up into the synapse. And as I'm sure you would understand, excess serotonin in some cases can lead to that blunting effect.